Hello, Lilas. Welcome back. Have you guys ever like packed up your entire collection and just took a break from your hobby? Or have you guys ever felt like you got one baby that you really, really was into and decided that maybe you should sell your the rest of your collection? Or maybe you should pack up the rest of your collection and put them away for a while and just um, enjoy the one or the two? maybe anyway that is exactly where i'm at right now i am in the process of packing up my collection so i was just thinking maybe i would talk to you guys about it but before we get into that let me first say um if you're not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe to this channel click the bell and click all so that you can get all notifications Sometimes I post on a community tab, sometimes I post videos, and sometimes I go live. And that bell will help you get notified when it's working properly. Um, also, I try to upload videos mostly once a day. Um, I think my hours are usually around 10-ish or after 10 o'clock. Every now and then I do a very early post. So if I do a very early post, it's usually going to be around 6 in the morning. Otherwise, my I'm either going to post around 10, between 10 and 12, or 7 and after that. Um, I just found that that is the time that most of the people that follow my channel is usually watching. Um, everybody's uh, audience is different, but that's where I've been, how I've been posting. But anyway, I also have a new, my Facebook page. Um, and I want to thank you guys. So many people have started following me there. And we're already over 7,200 followers. Woohoo! Thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, continue to follow me on Miss Serenity Smith on Facebook. That is where I post my dolls for sale. Um, I'm also on Instagram as Miss Serenity Smith Babies. And then also, guys, if you want to even go a step further and support my channel content, I have a paid channel membership. It is $4.99 a month to join. Um, it is for exclusive content, exclusive live streams, um, where only the paid members get to be in that content or they get to know stuff early before other people. Like sometime I tell them when I'm working on a doll or I'll have a doll up for sale. And so sometime when people say I didn't even see it for sale sometimes because the members in the chat box usually will snag them um not always but I'm looking forward to growing that membership and you know it's a up and down I'll be honest it's an up and down thing where you know sometimes I'm very heavy on the content in there like meaning I have a lot more and sometimes it's a it's a lot slower and then sometimes moderate because of my workflow um but i always still try to manage to get that one live stream in at least um and may and updates like i kind of do a journal in there <laughs> i call it my diary anyway without further ado let's get into oh let's uh, well we'll get into that too in a minute but let's talk about him really quick because a lot of people will Ass. So I'm going to tell you guys, if you guys don't know, this is Billy um, by Silicone Studio. He is sculpted and casted and poured by Kathy Romero Biscitti. And um, his blanks are available on her website at www.siliconestudio2.com. Um, usually at the most, you might wait. Uh, three to four weeks um, if it's longer than that she'll definitely let you know on the website up front but I do love the fast turnaround sometime it's sooner than that it just depends on how many she put out at one time um, and I will like to say add to and it's not just because I did the prototype for them um, the customer service is amazing um, it's very easy. There's no politics. You 
go to the website, you purchase, you don't have to be friends with so-and-so to, you know, get a baby from them or, you know, or if so-and-so don't like you, they're not going to sell to you. They're not into all the community drama. It's very professional. Um, also, when they send the babies out, even if they don't come with a little outfit on, um, which sometimes they do, a lot of times they do come with like a little shirt that says Silicone Studio or the Sculpt name or something like that. But even if they don't, the packaging is always really nice. <clears throat> and they often send packages with the silicone and the color. Let me show you. I have mine here. That they blended it with. So in case you need to do any type of repairs, you have this. Um, and that's really nice that they do that. Um, so if you were to get a tear or you made any modifications, you would have the exact color that the, the kit was poured in and you can, you know, fix it almost seamlessly. So, um, what else was I going to say to you guys about him? Um, I measured him out to be 19 and a half. I think it was 19 and a half from head to toe. But from head to heel, I think it's 17 and a half. So, got my dandy smandy here. So I usually measure from the top of the head to so I'm gonna say about right here just because and I will say this and I say it all the time and that's pretty straight so this you see his his head the top, the top of his head and this would be right there and if that making any better for you guys so you see that just so you guys know um the inches on a baby don't always mean that the baby is going to fit a specific size clothing so, um, I always try to give people an idea of what size clothes the babies wear. However, every brand is different as size goes. Even locations of where you're at, I found that, you know, Carter's brand here in Florida might be different from up in New York. And just like the Walmart Carter's brand versus the actual store Carter's brand, like the Child of Mine Carter's and the other Carter's, they all the sizes vary so much so i'll throw out a couple brand names that are pretty common for people and tell you guys what they usually wear for me i found that he can wear newborn well the girl she was able to wear newborn in most brands if well all all the brands that i've tried and then the like uk uh brand clothing um up to one month or uh, zero to one month or first size because UK sizing kind of comes a little different um, I really liked when it was tights involved or dresses or stuff like that first size um, and like pants outfits and stuff like that I liked up to one month and like H&M I like zero to one month um, you can do the PM, I mean the without PM, which is actually a smaller newborn, but I would go with the 01 with the PM on, um, H&M. But anyway, um, my, my guy does have, um, armatures in his arms, um, which was different from the prototype, but as you guys could see, the prototype posed effortlessly without armatures so um, if you have one coming without the armatures you can pretty much do everything except for like you know maybe like the 
but holding the arms up tight let me get over here holding the arms up is the only thing I think I would say that the armatures will you know make allow it to you know stay up and then it does help with the sucking of the thumb and stuff like that but without the armatures I was able to do it too and even this um when the hands are up like this without the armatures the hands because it's soft silicone it would just fall over and lay like on the tummy which is pretty natural too so um this is the one sculpt I really didn't mind um without armatures and I would actually have one and kept one I would have kept the prototype without the armatures and not felt like I needed them or I was missing anything so um and I think shoe size I would go with um zero a size zero I don't know I should grab my baby deer but I don't feel like going over there to get it I'll have to go in the closet she he might fit I keep wanting to say she he might fit um one and baby deer but I want to say zero but I could be wrong it does have a he does have a decent size foot but I'm gonna say zero for now I'll correct myself later if otherwise um oh my gosh we're already 12 minutes in and I have not told you guys about packing my baby so anyway I I packed up so far uh, I think four or five babies already I have to get another container I just happen to have one here that could fit most of them and they were kind of some of them were bigger babies so they took up a lot of space um but I am going to uh, pick up probably another two more bins and I am going to I think that was the I have two others that I may go ahead and pack up with my reborns but I'm not sure yet on that because I may be packing up about three to four silicone babies so um For my silicone, well, probably four silicone babies will get packed up when in the next container when I get the container. So basically, I'm just packing up most of my babies that I love, want to keep, but not really active with them. Don't have no desire to change their clothes. Don't have a desire to really do videos with them. That type stuff. Um, I, I'm being very careful to only pack those that I do not interact with for months and months at a time or don't feel I will because I don't want to have to keep going and taking them out because I have to put my ladder to get to put it on my shelf in my closet because I'm using my personal closet to store them. Um, and I just, so I, I, I've decided to do that when I got Billy when I had the prototype, I really, really um, loved holding that baby a lot. And so when I, every time I would like be going to get her clothes or going to get the brush or, you know, getting ready to root her, I would be holding her. I wouldn't put her down. Like she'd be wrapped in a blanket and I wouldn't. Put, I just liked holding her a lot. Um, and I'm so excited about him that, as you can see, I haven't even started painting him yet i've just been steady looking at it moving trying to find inspiration so i figured you know part of my problem is i feel like i'm overwhelmed with my collection i have too many dolls in here it's so it feels so cluttered in my nursery being that i work out of my nursery on top of doing videos in my nursery there's usually when i get ready to do a video i gotta move a baby to put a baby in a spot to do the video um, because it's so many babies. I have a crib with probably like eight babies in it right now as we speak. The good part about that is about three or four of them are actually leaving. So um, I'm gonna sell a couple of them and then 
some of them are already sold. So that's the that's the good thing. Um, so I'm just trying to get it to where it's like one, maybe two babies at a max, unless it's like preemies in one crib. I have two cribs upstairs. I have a crib downstairs, which I don't, I don't intend on leaving a baby downstairs on display in that crib. That is just for me to take pictures when I really, really want to try to get certain type of uh, photos. Um, but yeah, and then I have the um, like swings. I have a like a, a walker, a bouncer type thing. I have car seats. <laughs> so I'm moving a lot around. I'm eliminating a lot of stuff. I'm gonna pack up my loungers. I'm gonna I've I'm gonna pack up one of the car seats so I can just declutter my room. It's like so much in here. Um and I found a way to store my kits, my vinyl and my slow phone kits pretty neatly. So this changing table have three layers to it. The babies that was on these two shelves, I've removed them. I've packed them up. So that gives me storage space for other stuff that I have to keep digging for and going to look for or, you know, pulling out stuff that I've stored away like pampers and um, blankets and stuff like that. Just everyday use stuff. Um, so... Yeah, so I'm just, you know, that's where I'm at. I really want to be able to really just enjoy a smaller collection. The babies, all the babies that I leave out are not necessarily babies that I'm going to be like videoing every day or interacting with every day. But there are babies that I really enjoy seeing and I like to dress them every now and then just to see them in different clothes. So those are the babies that I will be leaving out um, for now. I may eventually pack up all of them and leave out like, you know, one or two babies. I don't know. Um, this is something new for me. I, in all of my years of collecting, I have never literally packed up my, my dolls. I have had a couple like displayed in my closet, the nursery closet, but that was when the shelves, shelves was bare and I kind of made it like beds up there and stuff. So it wasn't really that they were really packed away. It's just that I didn't have nowhere else to, to, to display them or put them. So this is my first time ever doing this, um, which is kind of um, different for me. But I felt a relief instantly when I I packed them up and took the bin out. I, I just automatically felt, felt a relief. So... I'm thinking this is going to be really nice for me and we will see if I actually, you know, start rotating babies and videos more often and stuff like that too. Because like I said, access to them is just like work, you know, you got to shift this baby, move this baby, pick this baby up, you know, put this baby over there to put this baby over here, move the blanket, move the boppy change the, the, the covers, blah, 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 blah. It's just so much, so much um, when there's so many babies. So, um, I'm not losing my interest in collecting, but I'm losing my interest in having a whole lot of babies. So, I'm going to be very, um, very, very picky on what babies I decide to keep moving forward. Um, even when I do prototypes, if I do any more, pro you know, if I get any more prototypes, because, you know, I can't guarantee someone's going to offer me another prototype. But if I get another prototype, I'm going to also, like, try not to be, like, greedy and be like, oh, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Because I will keep them for a couple months and then before I even sell them sometime a year or for good. You know, you just never know. So, um, there's that. Uh, da, 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 da. I chased down these diapers, drove all the way across town 
and I found them at Target. We don't have a Target in my area. Well, we're supposed to be getting one soon, but I'm in the country, so there's that. Um, but I drove, you know, thousands of miles <laughs> just to hope that I could find those, and I did. Um, and I, I, I love this print. Let me let me zoom in. It is so cute. <laughs> so, so cute. Um, plus, I need more newborn diapers anyway. I want to see if they have that same print in preemie. So, I'm probably going to um, have my daughter snag me a, a pack. Two of my daughters, they live in Target. So, I'll ask one of them, whichever goes in there first. Grab your mom a pack of preemie diapers. Um... What else I want to tell you guys? This this video is so compact. Um, it's a lot. But some of you guys say you like long videos. So here it is. <laughs> Please watch until the end. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Um, Jelly Bean is one of the babies I will be keeping out. I... Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I have bassinets. Some... Pretty fancy. I call them fancy because they cost me a lot of money. One was for Bryson, but he never would sleep in it at all. So Tabitha gave it, gave it back to me, and it's like brand new. The other one is brand new that I had bought for, you know, that's a long story, baby. But it didn't, it never came through. So um, I have those bassinets in there, and I have one swing in my room as well where I always keep babies in, in my room. So those will probably be reserved for Zenday and probably Billy and the um, swing, Jelly Bean sits in that swing a lot. Um, so I've gotten used to her being there. So when she's not there, I'm looking for her. So I think that's it. So. We'll talk later, and if I can get this room all decluttered, maybe I can finally do a nursery tour that I've been promising for two years. <sighs> maybe I'll show my whole entire room, my workspace, everything. Oh, I don't want to show my workspace. My workspace be a chaotic mess, but an organized chaotic mess. It's It's messy, but not messy to me. Um, and I don't want to mess it up to, to just do a video because, you know, and I've heard other artists say this too. Like, literally when I sit down at my desk to paint, whether it's my reborn table or my silicone tables, I automatically can reach for what I want without even looking, turning my head because it, I, it, I know where I, I put it. I know where everything normally sits. I know what flows good while I'm painting and working. If, you know, I need to hurry up and get something to wipe something off before it cures and all that stuff. You know, it's so it works for me. It may not work for everybody. Oh, uh, that's it. I'm going to end it here. Um, next available baby will probably be Logan when I get through rooting him. And because the next two babies that will you guys will probably see aren't available they already are reserved um after that there's a possibility i may have one full body another full body baby which will be in i'm assuming aa but don't hold me to it um sometime i get them and they don't do what i asked them to do um but i'm assuming it'll be a aa and boy so, um, but I'm on the fence if I'm, it, it, I bought it for me for my personal collection, but I may or may not sell it because I have three full body boys for my personal collection that I haven't even painted. <laughs> so, um, yeah. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh. I will have some cuddles too, just FYI, and some at very fair prices, I think, um, because I'll be painting up a couple of them. Some I'll do rooted, some I will not. So, 
see you guys later let me know in the comments anything any questions any topics you want me to talk about let me know bye